I'm Jamie Doris, and you're watching Miss Congeniality TV. Have you ever wanted to be a beauty queen? Or maybe you couldn't care less about that crown and simply want to look your very best. Regardless of why you are here, welcome. In the last episode, we traveled to the little town of Philadelphia, Mississippi to meet with one of the best lifestyle photographers in the American Southeast. We learned about posing, props, and all things social media. We also met with award-winning portrait photographer Brandy Stage to go over all of the tips beauty queens need to know to get the best headshots ever. In this episode of Miss Congeniality, we're getting a little weird and showing our not-so-glamorous side. It's the drinks, the smells, and the amazing little products that no one ever tells you about. Prepare to be both surprised and relieved. Yes, we get you, and we got you. In order to look like a beauty queen, you will likely need some products and concoctions are, let's just say, a little weird. Uh, whether it's to be more slender or to have your eyes brighter, today I'm going to show you some of the not so mainstream beauty secrets. Most people have heard of butt glue, but have you heard of boob tape? Let's get started with the products and tricks that lift and sculpt. So I do have this one little secret that is a body firming foam. Okay. So I'm old, I'm 45, things are saggy, okay? The collagen helps with that, it helps with all over whatever, but this foam is kind of amazing because it's just a foam you squirt in your hand, you wrote, and as soon as you get out of the shower, you put it on. And then you maybe put it on before bed or one other time. And I'm telling you, it, it will reduce that appearance of like old lady legs or cellulite. Um, it kind of smooths it out again. I don't use stuff that's not proven. I don't use stuff that's a gimmick. I see this stuff online all the time, but this one happens to have clinical studies that back it up. Lots of people use this kind of thing on a daily basis um, and they love it and it helps them, especially their arms or like um, their neck. Uh, it's amazing for anywhere here down. Um, but for me, I do it on upper, upper legs, abdomen, um, and glutes. But that would be like my dirty little secret. <laughs> one secret that I will tell um, everyone is in the shower if you have a steam room um, <clears throat> it's so good while you're in there to just um, you know sweat everything out steam not sauna I like a steam room put conditioner in your hair and wrap it up in plastic and then put a towel over your head or put a shower cap on and let that conditioner get in your hair it makes it beautiful um, you can also put some cream on your face or whatever before you go in there and then um, get like these days they have either the loofah sponges or whatever, but a hard brush and scrub your legs constantly scrub your legs with this hard, whatever pumice stone or whatever you can get. That's really good for circulation and it fights off cellulite. So it's a really, really little tricky thing to have there. How often should you do those? In the shower, you should uh, every day, every day you should. Well, in the scrub. shower, you right, would. right, right, right. You can't do that in the steam room. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't bring a loaf into a steam room? Okay, I guess it's public. You can't do that, Jamie. Okay. No, but, um, but you could do that in the shower afterwards. So I'm just saying, get in there and, and massages, get massages all the time as much as you can. Because if you could get a massage every day, like I would love that. That is stimulating your skin and making um, everything really pump and work in there and blood vessels and all that. And it's not letting fat settle anywhere so that's really good that can, combined with working out will definitely get rid of cellulite but that's not the only weird product pamela recommends for firmer legs and rear end i just think that if you don't squeeze your butt no one else will so it's really important to squeeze that butt all the time so um i have these bands that i put on and like you strap them to your ankles and then you um strap it to your waist and then you like do all your leg exercises with the straps on it's it adds resistance it makes it really hard put this around your waist like this in the back uh-huh this like yeah take it around back okay there like, you go tighten the belt this is quite the contraption yes it is all right now and then we're going to do the ankle um, cuffs on your ankles. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Now, you're okay. going to take your heel. Okay. And you're going to straighten that leg out. There you go. One. 
There you go. Now that's one particular exercise. Then take your leg out, straighten. Like straighten? One, now take it down and up. Toe down and up. Yep, there you go. Now cross it over to this way. Down and over that way. Down. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Now give me a knee to the side. Like this? Uh-huh. Oh, Pamela. Circle, circle. There we go. That's just one of many, many things you can do with that. It's crazy. I love what you said, though. If you're not squeezing it, nobody else will. <laughs> tip on butt glue for anyone out there that needs a tip on butt glue. Um, you have to kind of let it get tacky before you actually secure the swimsuit. It's kind of like eyelash glue. You have to let it get tacky before. So what does that really look like? You spray and you, you hold? You spray and you like fan it and you wait for like 20 seconds and then you... I mean, it's the truth, folks. It's the truth. <laughs> and then you would hear said swimsuit to said Correct. bottom. Correct. Yes. Good. Well, I've never tried the butt glue. I heard it's out there. Never have I tried it. Maybe because I have a nice little behind. It doesn't slip anywhere. <laughs> no. But I would probably say the, the cup lifters. <laughs> What's a cup lifter? The little banded thing that you bring your girls up. I think that's awesome. So do you have any? I mean, I not do. on, but like you, what is it? Is it like tape or is it? They're like, um, they're little, I don't know if you, I don't know what you call them, the, the nipple covers, but they're really big and they're made out of, dis, like they look like a flower. And then they have like a silicone and they have the thing that you put it on and you can lift it up and you don't have to wear a bra and your girls look like they're nice and youthful. <laughs> well, that's a fun so that's probably, trip. that's probably my favorite. One of my favorite products is boob tape. Uh, I know it's really funny. Most people have never heard of it, but it kind of, it comes on rolls like this. It kind of looks like a Band-Aid, but then you can take off the back and then you can use this when you place it on your chest, like anywhere you want, you can use this to shift and lift and make your chest do whatever you want it to do to get the results you want. Check out this before and after here on this suit. The image on the left is without the boob tape. The image on the right is with it. You can see how the tape helps push everything together for a more tidy look. All right, so that is all for our Lift and Sculpt secret products. Up next, we're going to reveal the face and smile tricks that you're gonna have to see to believe. Hashtag okay. CO2 Lift, um, <laughs> sponsor me. Can I be your influencer? <laughs> Well, now that we know all about butt firmer and boob tape, we're gonna talk about the things that are gonna make your face and your smile have that certain je ne sais quoi. The first thing I wanna show you is this neat little product called Lumify. Lumify is, I guess, it, it's an eye drop, but unlike traditional eye drops, when you put this in your eye, it makes the white of your eye appear more white. Okay, I know it's a weird product. I was a little worried when I first put it in my eye for the first time. I was like, oh my God, am I gonna go blind? But no, I didn't go blind. And the neatest thing is that it actually works. Check out these videos right here. You could tell on the left that I hadn't put it in my eye yet. On the right, you can look and see that my eyes are super, super white, literally like one minute later. Isn't that amazing? Y'all, I had never heard about Lumify until I got into the pageant world, and now I am a firm believer. When I first started in pageantry, someone did tell me that uh, I could rub Vaseline on my teeth to help my lips not stick to my teeth. So that's probably an interesting little trick or tidbit that you could do. So why would you do that? I think it's to make it so like if your mouth gets dry so that your lips don't kind of stick to your teeth while you're on stage so that you can smile for longer and um, yeah. So that's, that's an interesting trick, I think. <laughs> hmm. Oh, 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 I know what product. Life-changing. CO2 lift. CO2 lift? CO2 lift. What is I it? don't know all of the science behind it, but it's fabulous. <laughs> I, was, I was influenced on the gram. I was influenced on the gram to get it by one of my favorite influencers that I follow. And I got it, and it's pretty incredible. What is actually. it? Actually, so it's a face mask that, again, I don't know how it works. Like liquid face mask? It's like a jelly 
that you put on your face and you put this like thick layer of jelly and it starts to dry and you kind of look plastic. It's kind of creepy, <laughs> but great. Now, Becky, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm sealing myself shut. <laughs> and you leave it on for 45 minutes, you know, take a nice bath or read or something. And it actually works over the next couple of days to transform your skin and it's amazing. It's pricey, but it's super worth it. How much yeah. is it? I feel like it's $90 per face mask, but it's like the same thing as like getting a facial. And $90 per face mask? But trust me, it's fabulous. It's really good. CO2 lift. CO2 lift. I might try that. Hashtag okay. CO2 lift. Um, sponsor me. Can I be your influencer? <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, I, I, when I was a young girl, I used to actually take mud from outside because it has the minerals, and I would make a mask. Or I would do eggs and honey and stir it up and make a mask. So, but I also steam my face, um, homemade steam my face on the, um, on the stove. All I do is take water, put chamomile tea in it. Um, I take a towel once it's bubbling and the steam comes out, and you're steaming your face. So I do a lot of homemade remedies. You do a face steam? Yes, I do a face steam. How often do you do this? I'll do it probably, I try to do it once a week, but um, you know, twice a month. Hold up, day. honey, I need to do my steam. <laughs> I know, he comes in the kitchen and I've got this, this, uh, <laughs> this towel over the stove and, and he's just like talking to me like no big, because he's used to it. And you just like hold it over? I hold it and the steam just comes up, it's a little hot. And it comes, and you're sweating out all the all the toxins. Yeah. And it's chamomile tea. Chamomile tea. Oh, I'll use ginger tea for the energy, because you want that energy um, also. You want that energy type. But I call it a steam facial. You can just get um, kind of like the little razors, the little face razors. I know it's so. It sounds crazy. But... I am floored over here. <laughs> I want to hear this. Yeah. So um, you just moisturize, take everything off, all your makeup off, moisturize. And then there are these like little cupy razors that they sell that you can kind of trim up your brows with, but you can actually use that kind of in your jawline area, on your forehead, anywhere where you might have some like stray peach fuzz area. I use it on um, my upper lip just because that's the same thing that you get. That's the same service that you get at a spa, but you can do it quicker at home. If you're kind of on a time crunch, don't have enough time to go in and okay. get a facial. After the break, the once a day cocktail that slims you down and clears you up. When the waste is gone, your skin looks fantastic. We've covered products that lift and sculpt. We've also looked at the weird products that make our face and smile so much better. But I know what you're thinking. What about the products that make me skinny? Don't worry, beauty queens have tricks for that too. But one secret that I absolutely love is my apple cider vinegar cocktail, which, uh -oh. oh, I love it. It gives you a flat stomach. The acids in there really take those sugars and salts and just dissolve them away. And it's great for your skin when, this is going to be a little gross, when the waste is gone, your skin looks fantastic. Really? There's no toxin. It, it takes away those toxins. So that, that's one of my biggest secrets when it comes to weight loss or fitness. It's, you said a cocktail? The cocktail. So is there alcohol in it? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then tell us all about this and like tell us what all goes in it so we can make one for ourselves. Well, here we have it. All the ingredients is right in front of me. We've got the oranges. We've got the lemons. They're all fresh and no concentrate because it has actual sugars in it. So we want to stay away from that. We've got honey, which I don't have a lot of. And we've got um, ginger root. We've got turmeric root. We also have water, ice, and I think that is it for the ingredients. Now I've already um, juiced the, <laughs> what are you trying to do here? I've already <laughs> juiced the, um, the, oranges and the, uh, the oranges and the lemons because that's really important. You have to make sure it's uh, freshly juiced. And um, I've cut up all of the uh, turmeric and the ginger. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna add it just to this wonderful blender right here. So um, we're gonna put the lemons and the orange in here. We're gonna put some ice. You don't have to have that much ice. And we're gonna just put a little bit of water because I don't wanna take away the acid. So I just only put a little bit of water in here. So I don't have a lot of honey, but I'm going to use whatever I have, 
To, it doesn't need to be too sweet. No, it doesn't have to be too sweet unless you want it to be sweet. So this takes away the acidy taste and the bitter taste. So I, I do like a lot of honey. Okay. And I think that is all that we, we need. Did we put the apple cider vinegar in? We did not put the apple cider vinegar in. And that is always the one that I forget. <laughs> She's like, that's the part I don't want to put exactly. in. Exactly. So we're going to use a specific one. Also, Bragg's right here. This is mm -hmm. the only one that you'll use. For some reason, it is the only one that really tastes good in this. So I'm just gonna do like, you can have a little shot glass and do it. But since I've been doing this for a while, I'm just gonna pour a little bit. That's in it? There. I, that's it. That's all you put that's in? That's it. You've got so much acid. Okay. It's not even about the, um, the uh, apple cider vinegar at this point, okay? So we're just gonna take this, we're gonna put it on the blender, and we're gonna blend it. And I want you guys to blend it as much as you possibly can because with the root, we have fibers, and you want it to be as smooth as you possibly can. So I will probably uh, have it on the blender for about a minute, but sometimes I'll do like a few minutes just to make sure. Okay, and it's gonna create a great foam too. Okay. So we're just gonna put it on the blender and we're gonna start blending, if I can ever put that in there. There you go. So I think it's blended enough. Okay. Um, sometimes you will get the chunks of ginger, which are delicious. Mm -hmm. It really is. My husband loves the fresh taste of, okay. taste of ginger. Um, the turmeric, it'll, it'll kind of give you a surprise. And we're just going to put, I love it cold, so I just put a couple of ice cubes in there. You don't want to put a whole bunch of ice cubes because, again, you, it, it just tends to like the ice goes straight to your teeth. And you want to make it as smooth as possible. So let me see. I want to make oh, yeah, it make even. Sure. And you are actually going to you're going to try. I this. cannot wait. I do drink. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and disclose <laughs> this. I do drink apple cider vinegar in the mornings, uh -huh. but I've never made this mocktail together. Oh. Okay. So, so Cheers. Cheers. You ready? Mm. Oh, that's easy. I can taste more of the turmeric. Mhm. Mm than anything with this. So my taste, I would probably put a little bit more. <laughs> Be careful, girl. Be ca <laughs> it's not chug, chug, chug. <laughs> no. It's sip, like, sip, sip. I like, to, I like to absorb the flavors, you know, the acid and everything, and just make it more of a pleasant thing with the glasses and the, the husband. It's the only way I can get him to drink it fully every single day is to make it as enjoyable as possible, but it is good. You can, <laughs> like I said, you can put more honey or whatever you want to, to your taste. Mm -hmm. And it takes a little while to finally get that taste that you like, but it is so worth it because it's going to make the stomach so flat and this skin so awesome and youthful. <laughs> so now something else she said was that she drinks this at night. At night. Why do you drink this at night? Well, because if you drink it during the day and you're a water drinker, it would dilute the acids in it. So we want to make sure that we have that acid working in your stomach. Also, make sure after you drink it that you brush your teeth. You don't want the acid to get rid of your enamel. You want to make sure oh. that your teeth, your teeth are, they continue to stay strong. So make sure that you brush your teeth because this is all acid here. This is all acid, and you want to make sure that you are you protecting those teeth also, okay? You, want to, you don't want a bigger dentist bill than you need to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Dandelion root. <laughs> is it a okay. tea? It is not a tea. Well, there are teas. I do not take a tea. I take the encapsulated version. And dandelion root is something that is a natural diuretic, maybe a little bit like coffee. Um, so it's not one that you would get over the counter. It's one that um, is a natural herbal supplement and helps the body just eliminate any water that you might be holding. So a lot of women say, oh, I'm holding water in my uh, midsection or I'm, you know, feeling a little fluffy right here or whatever it is. It just takes out that water that's right under the skin. Um, that might make you look a little bit more full than you want to look and um, just naturally you just expel it <laughs> in the in the way that you would um, but you just take it the night before in the morning of um, maybe one extra somewhere in there and you're good to go so that is a beauty queen secret for trimming that little bit of water at the end Yes, and you know, it's not for everybody and it's not anything harmful. You would definitely follow the instructions on the bottle and consult your doctor first when you're taking any new herbal supplement. But for me, it's worked really well. And finally on Miss Congeniality, the smell good secret no one has told you. What is that smell? And I said, I think it's my swimsuit. <laughs> Lastly, we're gonna look at the very product that's gonna have you smelling amazing. 
without even trying. Check this out. Oh, 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 yes, the washing detergent. Yes, it's wonderful. Uh, it's just it's just important that your home smell good, your clothes smell good, you smell good with a fragrance that is complimentary to you. Nothing overbearing or um, anything. It's, it needs to really mesh with your body and your bloodstream. Your hair needs to smell really good. I mean, um, as a matter of fact, I have one of those candles burning right now, but the Tyler candles and uh, the laundry detergent. Yeah, I don't know if they have it everywhere, but um, it's very expensive, but you only use capful. And uh, we get it at the Pensacola Hardware Store here. I'm going to promote that for mm -hmm. a second. But uh, cat full in there. And I mean, I've been in the Gulf of Mexico swimming and passed by a group of girls. And they were like, what is that smell? And I said, I think it's my swimsuit. <laughs> they were like, this smells so good. And I was like, yeah, I know. Look, I was in a hardware store. That's funny. And a lady was like, what is it you're wearing? And I went, what do you mean? And she's like, you... You just smell so fresh. And I'm like, are you sure it's me? Because I didn't put any perfume on or anything that day. And then she was like, every time you've been in here, I've smelled it. And I went, oh, it's the, the laundry, laundry detergent. detergent. And she was like, laundry detergent? I'm like, yeah, it's the secret. Well, that's all the time we have left for this episode of Miss Congeniality, The Making of a Beauty Queen. Please note that none of the products in today's episode are an advertisement. I purchased all of them with my own money and I'm only sharing them with you because they work. You can get a link to those products on my website at misscon.tv. In our next episode, we're tackling one of the most challenging and important parts of pageantry, the interview. Miss for America 2020, Cassie Perkins. She teaches us how to prepare, then flips the script and puts me in the hot seat. Remember to love yourself, be yourself, and let's make this world a more beautiful place. Until next time, I am Miss Congeniality.